it's Dino, and you're uh, you're watching Digit Spin Crypto. So I'm glad you're here. I thank each and every one of you uh, who are on the chat and who show up every nine, you know, at 9:30 each night to uh, to participate in all the excitement and fun. So uh, let's get right to it, and I appreciate you guys. All right, so. Obviously, first, uh, the Telegram channel and our Twitter channel are both available to you. I usually put out uh, on Telegram or Twitter lots of thoughts and ideas, and they interact with a lot of folks. So it's uh, worth your time to take a look at that. So if you have uh, Twitter or Telegram, take a look and add that to your collection. I wanted to uh, congratulate Dose Music. Uh, he won himself 50 Electronium, and that was on the last live show. It wasn't yesterday, it was the day before, so that would have been Monday. Now, we had all sorts of craziness happen on Monday with the, and yesterday with the power, and oh geez, it was, uh, it was pretty nutty. I had to uh, replace uh, the main fuse on our building. It got blown out, uh, one of the feeder fuses, things like the size of a Coca-Cola can, the fuse that you put on the building on the outside, but got that taken care of. And then, of course, Windows decided to upgrade yesterday night, and uh, luckily I was able to check the system out a couple of hours earlier and uh, found that Windows pretty much destroyed my broadcasting system, and I had to reset up quite a lot of stuff I wasn't even sure I was gonna make it on live tonight so the moral of the story is we persevered and we got ourselves on so this is a good thing let's take a look at uh, one other quick thing we have the giveaway and that is gonna be for 1,000 electronium when we hit 1,000 subscribers and uh, that was donated by an anonymous source that uh, liked the show and uh, wanted to contribute so keep that in the back of your head when we hit that 1000 I think just a week or so ago we were at 400 we're at 500 and I don't know 500 and something 510 maybe uh, give or take so we're making some progress towards uh, our ultimate goal of 1000 subscribers and I can't wait to give away this electronium we'll have a special show for that and uh, that'll be a lot of fun all right Let's take a look at the next exciting thing. What I wanted to talk about uh, real quick is close this up. One quick thing. This is not financial advice. I'm just a guy in a straw hat, some 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 uh, some homeless guy in a straw hat um, who's mumbling on YouTube. So uh, take that for what it's worth. But hopefully the information that I bring to you might make uh, some extra sense or bring some extra value uh, to your decisions as you go along. All right, let's uh, close this up here on the giveaway. Now, obviously, uh, got to hit what's first. And what is first is obviously our Twitter contest. So let's take a look and see what's going on with that. I haven't even voted yet. I don't know what's going on and uh, you know I heard there's a lot of excitement going on with this here so let's take a quick look at the the chat and just see who we got out there oh boy you guys have been chatting I had the chat set up early today for you guys so I saw you guys were out there taking a look so we got uh, Chris Knight out there H bomb we got uh, we got Paul Paul saying it's showtime and uh, we're glad to have you here, Paul. Appreciate you also. We got Duncan in uh, sunny Australia. So that's always exciting. How you doing, Duncan? Great to see you on the show. I'm glad you were able to make it. We appreciate you and everybody else that uh, participates. Uh, we got H-Bomb out there. We got, uh, so we got Smoked. And we got RJ. RJ saying, hey guys, make sure you go vote on the Twitter, the first altcoin blitz competition. And I agree. Let's make that happen. It's a simple thing to do. You all know what to do. 
I'm going to put the links down below. But obviously, it, it is on Twitter. Go out there and vote. We're going to come up against Token Pay. Now, you know Token Pay is going to do all sorts of crazy stuff. And the folks from uh, the Verge community are probably going to try to help them out. So, we're up for a big challenge to make it to the finals. So, let's see what we could do. I, I personally think that if we actually focused and did the job, we could blow anybody out of the water when it comes to votes and participation. It's just a matter of getting the word out there. Send out a telegram, send out your Twitter. Do whatever you got to do to uh, let folks know uh, what's going on. Uh, we got Double X out there. Hey, Dino, you know, it's been a while. Yes, it has, and we appreciate you showing up and uh, viewing the show and participating tonight. Uh, you want to know me's out there? It's great to see you. Glad that you're back. All right, let's see. Um, RJ is saying he always has fun on the show and he appreciates it. Great work. We appreciate it. Let's see. All right. Um, all right, we've got a lot of other questions out here. I'm going to get to some of these uh, questions. You guys are just pulling them out. And let's take a look. Everybody's saying we're getting crushed. So let's let's take a look at what's going on. Obviously, Electronium Token Pay. Now, I'm taking a look at these, uh, these contestants that are out there. And did a little look. You guys tell me. I'm going to call them out. You guys tell me who you think is going to win. So we got Electra and, and EOS. All right, put it out there on the chat. Who do you think is going to be the winner on that one? Because I did a little research, and I'm going to tell you. When it comes to EOS and Electra, I took a look at the last uh, entries and votes of where they go. I think that Electra is going to beat EOS and take that top right spot up here. Then we got Linda and Redcoin. And regarding Linda and Redcoin, coin, let's see here. Yep, yep, you guys are right. Linda is going to beat out Redcoin. That is my guess. Linda is going to beat out Redcoin. And Cardano and Token Pay. Um, let's take a look there. Oh, this is, this, oh jeez, this is from uh, this afternoon. So we already know who these are already because we put them through already, didn't we? So this chart is already obsolete. Uh, why don't you guys say something to me, huh? <laughs> I'm already behind because he started the new rounds already. Because Electronium is obviously here and Token Pay is here. So we have... Electra and Linda up at the top. All right, so out of Electra and Linda is really who the question is. Sorry, guys, I'm an hour behind uh, on that. So out of the Linda and Electra, I think Linda is going to beat out Electra and take that spot on the right here. All right, now, now it's between the token pay and the Electronium for this left spot. And you guys know who we're all rooting for at the moment. So now I'm caught up to speed. All right. All right I'm in a time warp. I'll admit it. I own that. <laughs> all right. Yes. We have a tough competition with these guys here. So let's bring this up real quick. And let me get my vote in because I have not done it yet. Let's take a look. We got Chris with his exciting uh, new setup because you got Electra and Linda token pay and Electronium so let's put our vote in for Electronium real simple go to the page uh, for Chris Wallace we'll have the link uh, you'll click uh, your favorite token or uh, which is token pay or you're gonna click your your most favorite Electronium coin which has an actual blockchain functioning and signed contracts and a patent so, and by the way, token pay, you look it up, uh, if I'm not mistaken, token pay is only at 
is like number 110. Yeah, Token pays 110 on the CMC charts. Where Electronium is 95. So we're in the top 100. So we have a better value. We have a better community. Let's go. All right, I'm going to put my vote in because I haven't done it yet. And let's kick kick it in. Now, you see there's 1,951 votes. All right. That tells me right off the bat that there's some finagling going on. Because if you look at token pay in the past, token pay has gotten 550 votes on their own. They've never gotten more than 550, 560 votes. If we go back to even before, we take a look at this, token pay, 550 votes, 550 votes. All right, they've never exceeded 550 votes. So, for them to have all of this uh, going on at the moment, obviously we all know what's going on. At this point here, if you got 1,950 votes and 66% of them are the token pay, all right, that's 6, 12, uh, you got what, 1,200, 1,300 votes going to token pay, 700 for Electronium. Now, Electronium is always maxed out at 1,000. So, 1,300 votes for token pay. Obviously, there's some monkey business going on. They have double the amount of votes that they've had the entire voting system throughout this process. And now, all of a sudden, they have twice as many in, in just three hours. So, Electronium's going to be going up against some odds of, uh, of monkey business. Because it's already, at this point, monkey business. So, it is what it is. But there's a lot more votes that we can put in. If we have 34% of the vote, that's uh, 680 votes. We still have another four, four or 500 votes uh, that folks uh, will dribble into it. And with at 1,100 votes, we'll have to see. So I'm not sure exactly what token pay is uh, pulling or whoever is pulling. Uh, obviously, some nonsense because it is what it is. All right, let's take a look at the chat. You guys tell me, does my math add up? Right? You look at the numbers. Token pay 560 votes every time for the last few times and now within two hours they have 1300 votes already you tell me on the chat you tell me what you think am i looking at it wrong all right let's take a look and see what we got going on here you guys have put so much stuff out here it's not even funny all right <laughs> Smoke says uh, we need uh, Russian hackers to help Electronium. <laughs> they helped out Hillary Clinton. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, tell me, guys. You see, you tell me what you think because uh, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, H bomb saying Token Pay and Verge couldn't beat us on their own, and you know Token Pay and Verge together. Um, could if they had uh, what we beat them? We beat them by a, a reasonable amount. Uh, token pay and verge together would have token pay and verge together would have the votes that are currently in place right now. That's if every one of the token pay people and every one of the verge people voted, they would have the amount of votes that are currently being displayed. All right, and then no more. It's, it's so the fact that the, in three hours that there's that many votes, I think that obviously it's obvious to me that there's other things going on. All right, all right. Let's see what else we got here. So uh, Joe saying, "Hey, you just voted for Electronium. We appreciate that, Joe. Every uh, every vote counts, and it's going to be important that we all step up. If you're watching the video." get out there and put it in let's let's make an honest effort 
let's try to beat uh, folks that um, may or may not be playing fair. So let's take a look at it, because Electronium plays fair. And let's see if we can we can knock them off the high horse, even by playing fair. We have enough people to do it. Absolutely. Just got to get the word out to everyone, because every vote at this point counts and matters. All right. Let's see what we got here. John Thompson saying, yep, we just need the ETN voters to come in and vote. And that's exactly what needs to happen. All right. So, uh, Verge community is voting against Electronium. Yeah, that's possible. That's possible. But Verge and Coke can pay. Um, if every one of them voted and every one of them uh, of Verge and Token Pay, they would be at the amount now. And that took them 24 hours to do that. The fact that they're at this position in, in three hours, I don't buy it. There's nothing on this planet that's going to convince me uh, of that. So, all right. Um... Yeah, no, see, so uh, John Thompson's saying he thinks that uh, they have Litecoin uh, uh, and Verge voting for them. It's possible, you know, everybody could be getting up on Electronium. We are that powerful of a statement that it takes the entire crypto community to try to beat us. And the fact that if that is what's happening, that, that alone would make me smile to know that it took every single one of them them little, little, little coins that try to beat Electronium's community because <laughs> Electronium community is just uh, just got awfully huge all right all right so Marv wants to know if somebody has the link uh, to vote I don't have it in front of me but I can't click here let's see here and I can take this copy it and I'm gonna drop it right into the there it is just posted it on uh on the chat so you'll see it on the chat the link all right let's take a look here so uh, at least i got my vote in and we'll see what else we got all right you guys yeah, you guys got like five pages of stuff already gee whiz i can't keep up with this i missed a whole bunch of stuff from you guys but I'll just have to keep going. All right. Uh, let's see what else we got here. All right. So you guys have that. So hey, we got the big fella out there. And uh, he says that he owns both. Uh, token Pay and uh, Electronium. And that's great. You know, I have a lot of extra coins also. You know, but uh, you have to make a choice when you when you select it. So uh, you have the option of being on whatever side you want. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we got. Um, we got uh, RJ. Now, RJ's asking me here. He goes, uh, I want your opinion, Dino. I commented on Matthew Gray's show and all about text video. We should use Electronium giveaway coins and com that the com and community donated coins for a YouTube ad commercial, mobile app paid uh, community. So, um, hey, um, it's a community coin. The, the the environment is completely open. That's exactly what Web Dollar did. Web Dollar, uh, the community got together. They all donated coins and uh, went into a fund and they gave out a uh, an airdrop of 100 coins per person they they raised a million a million web dollars and they gave those away um, i think there's still a few airdrops available so um you know anybody could do that and electronium's the same so if you don't need anybody's permission you can start that up yourself if that's something you want to do and uh, you know, and ask for donations to put together into a fund and then uh, run some ads um, on YouTube uh, with uh, with a video or what have you. That, that absolutely can be done. Okay. Let's see. 
Um, Smoke says here, he goes, uh, keep laughing all you want, all you want, just don't use the San Francisco accent again on the show. He, he couldn't handle that the last time. We did the South, the East, the New York, the, the California, and when I got to the California, he <laughs> threw him right off. <laughs> all right, so let's see here. Oh, big fella says he can't choose. He's trying to figure it out. I don't know, guys. What do you think? Give him, tell him what coin he thinks you should let him let, let him vote for. <laughs> yeah, Duncan saying England hasn't woken up. Yeah, you have um, pretty much all Western Europe. Uh, you know, they're four hours ahead, so they're in the middle of the night right now. You figure it's one, two o'clock. Uh, in the evening or in the morning for them so it'll be a few hours before they wake up as the time zone starts going along so we'll see how that turns out all right what I did want to um, take a look at is let's see here let's close this up and we got the goodies here so let's uh, a couple things we we haven't done yet let's uh, close this up let's find out because uh, I had to get right into that Let's find out how many Electronium or Web Dollars we're going to give away today. So we got the random number generator up on the screen. Obviously, uh, Dose Music won 50 Electronium on the last live show. And how this works is anything less than 50 becomes 50. Anything over 50 is the number shown. And that's how many coins you'll win. Now, you had to have put your public address in the last live show in the comments. Obviously, put in there, you like my straw hat, you know, you think you want me to shave off my mustache, tell me something interesting, tell me something about Electronium, or whatever coins that you do mine. I love reading, I uh, love uh, all the entertainment and the fun. So, let's generate and let's find out for today how many coins we're going to give away. Number says 74. So, today's a big winner. So there's a good 74 Electronium more web dollars that we're going to give away today. I'm using the blue pen. I have the red one sitting here, but I picked up the blue pen. So uh, 74 coins. At the end of the show, we'll find out who is the winner for the 74 coins. So that's uh, going to be a lot of fun. All right. Let's get some of the basics out of the way, and then I want to uh, get into some of the meat and potatoes that, were, that was on the thumbnail and get your guys uh, comments uh, real quick coins mining in our super secret uh, ASIC that's hidden away under lock and key in my office uh, it's uh, mining away and obviously I had to replace the the fuse on the outside of the building so uh, I got shut down for about two hours until I could find a place to get a, a fuse the size of a soda can but because you figure we got 300, you know, I have three legs and each one is uh, 300 amps, so 250 volts. So, you know, I, I put on rubber gloves and then leather gloves on top of that and then use an insulated uh, wrench to, to get the thing out of there. The last thing I wanted to do is get zapped. That much current can literally blow your arm right off your body. So you have to have a real healthy respect for electricity. So uh, that got us back online. Hey, we made 702 Electronium uh, for the last 24 hours. That's still a reasonably good number. We pre you know, it's appreciated. Um, obviously, it's value with the market being down $4.92. All right. And uh, if we look at the market cap, where are we now with Bitcoin? So, hey. You know, it, it, it didn't uh, crash, you know, we were worrying about it really crashing down, 62.88, that's in decent shape. Uh, the dominance I don't think has changed, let's take a quick look at that, let's go into our global charts here. I always like to view the dominance to see what direction it's going. We're still on a pretty steep incline, you can see it here, let's take a look. So we're on that pretty steep incline. And as the dominance goes up, it's taking all, sucking all the money right out of all these altcoins. In the last few days, you can see uh, pretty significant drops. We do have a little bit of a peak. 
So it might come down for a little bit, but let's see where uh, where Bitcoin goes and where it takes us all. Because uh, with that dominance, if it just keeps rising, and it looks like it could have more room. I mean, it, it, this is here is where this dropped. That was the giant pump that happened. So we'll see what ends up happening. These are going to have to stabilize and eventually work its way out. But until that money comes back, you're not going to see anything exciting with any of the altcoins. They're going to just kind of stagnate out there. And that makes an awesome buying opportunity. If you have extra cash, that may be something you want to look at. Um, I had a few extra uh, uh, percentage of a Bitcoin. I had a 1% or 2% extra laying around uh, in my wallet. Uh, so I went out there and got some more electronium. And um, and to be honest and fair, I also picked up some more elastos because I like elastos. That's another long term, very long term type of uh, thing. So eh, let's move on from there. OK, let's see if you guys got it. So Kryptonite says, yeah, he went out there and he voted. We appreciate you doing that. That's important. And. Uh, Ratasama, hey, do you know? Yes, so uh, Ratasama saying, hey, do you know? I just went to vote on Twitter and had to go through a validation to verify. Um, uh, the verify I wasn't a bot, so I'm assuming my last vote got reported. Yeah, it, it got, it gets reported. The system is checking to make sure that there's no automated um, entries, so it randomly checks. Uh, on these things uh, to make sure that you are an actual person to answer the questions because that would throw off the scripting on a bot now there are places that sell votes and uh, what it is is uh, you know a, a guy may have uh, a few thousand accounts set up and then uh, he'll go through and manually log into each one and click and log in click and log in click and they, since there's a human behind the mouse and the keyboard, they can answer any questions and it's an actual valid account. If you look at the accounts, you'll see that there's no, twi no little or no uh, transmission of, uh, of, of tweets and uh, there's no activity on it. It's just a, a, a blank, uh, it's a dummy account uh, type of thing. And, um, you know, that, that's how some people make their money. They, they do these types of things. So uh, they sell, you know, X amount of votes. So, um, okay, let's see what else we got here. So Paul's saying he thinks that uh, uh, T-Pay, Litecoin, and Verge are business partners. So uh, that, I don't know about uh, Litecoin, but T-Pay and Verge are kind of close. So, all right, RJ saying he's got Verge and T, and uh, he's got T-Pay and Electronium, but he voted for Electronium. Yeah, it's it's fun. Electronium's got a great community. Um, you know, if it takes all the other communities to combine to be at Electronium, well, that says something for itself right there. I mean, that's just the way it is. Okay, <laughs> Duncan, Duncan saying he uh, enjoyed the cameo in the Power Rangers video. Yeah, that was uh, <laughs> that was kind of fun. That was uh, uh, one of our guys that come on the channel all the time. Let's uh, let's see if we can find that thing. Uh, now that you mentioned it, that was actually kind of funny. Uh, let's see if we can find the the Power Rangers video. Uh, da, 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 da. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I forgot the guy's name offhand, but I subscribed to his channel, so I'm hoping that it shows up here. Do, 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 do. Here it is, Jacob. Jacob, there it is. He did the uh, Disney, the Disney thing. So he's got the. Uh, taking control of our world, but there is still one place we can be safe. The domed city of Corinth. And the only hope we have left is. Power 
We got Sean Davis, Crypto Sarah, Crypto NWO, we got Truthful Rob, we got uh, a little action and excitement. <laughs> You got Richard Ells as the Chief Executive Officer. Dino Digits Fit and Carlos as the Scammer Number Seven. I like that. That was pretty funny. You have to laugh about that. So Jacob, he's always making these fun videos. Go on over to Jacob's uh, YouTube. It's uh, Jacob Veritas, and uh, and he's got some really neat things here. Let me see if I can copy this here. Copy. I'm gonna drop this into the chat. You guys, uh, you know, save that. I just put it out on the chat. Save that, and if you get a chance, go on over there, view it on his, uh, so he can get a view on it. This way, you can get a close-up look at it. Uh, give him a like. I'm gonna click on the like there, and let's tell Jake, Jacob. Uh, I think I already wrote something in here. Uh, you crack me up with these videos. Yeah, let's uh, let's in here. Awesome job. Um, Love the video. Thanks. Let's put that in there. Give him a comment. Yeah, go in there and, and uh, take a look at it. I actually subscribe to Jacob. He comes up with uh, a lot of fun videos that he puts together. And it, each and every one of them I crack up. So uh, congratulations to Jacob. That's a lot of fun. And we appreciate that. <laughs> All right. So... Mr. Bean even liked it, right, Mr. Bean? Yeah. So, yeah, Mr. Bean liked it. So that, that's a bonus. All right, so let's go back to what we were looking at. Hopefully I didn't wipe us out here from what I had set up on the page. Uh, I guess I didn't. That was a new page. Very good. All right. So I want to tell you about this here. A few videos back, we were talking about phone jacking and what happens and uh, how people... Uh, call up AT&T or whatever phone company you have and try to get them to send a replacement SIM uh, to them and then once they have that then they can take over your phone lock you out and then start to get your authentication SMS text messages all sorts of stuff and take your, your money but here's a perfect example this guy here he lost 224 million dollars because of the negligence of AT&T giving out a replacement SIM card. This guy was a, uh, an investor, Michael Turpin, and uh, he lost a ton of, of coins. Obviously, he's put in some, uh, uh, some money for, uh, for anguish and all that other good stuff. But uh, clearly, you know, he, he put it up here. He said through digital identity theft. And I told you guys, this is what happens and in that video I explained to you how you can keep that from happening uh, with a couple of different ways of going about it. Uh, AT&T says of course they dispute this but of course they're the ones that gave out the SIM card because of their inability to keep their, their, their stuff together and uh, make sure that they validate and remember you could do that by making sure that you add a PIN number a lot of them will let you set up a PIN number and the second thing is, you go to the AT&T store, you show them your driver's license, and you mark, and you have them mark it as a hot comment. They'll put it up in red up at the top that no changes or SIM cards are to be released unless you physically show up at the store and show ID. It's kind of a pain, but this way uh, you, you don't have to worry about somebody stealing your, you know, duplicating your SIM card and uh, taking whatever you may have. Now, this guy had a ton, and if I had $200 million worth of coins, or whatever it is, oh, excuse me, here it is, 23 million. He had $23 million worth of coins. The last thing I'd be doing is keeping them on my phone, or anything to do with my phone. I would have a separate phone just for that, with a hidden phone number, or, um, or just a laptop, and, uh, and then a lot of these things I would, not be keeping on exchanges that's a lot of cash i don't know about you guys but that's a lot of money so uh gosh i don't even know what to say to this guy but hopefully things will uh 
turn out the way they're supposed to. Now, when you're working with the electronium, one of the things that electronium is, is working on doing is how mobile phones can start uh, and jumpstart the economies. So I went through and I took a look at, you know, how does phones, uh, how are phones doing this as a whole with, and then adding crypto to it, how would that add to it? So I went back and I found an article back in 2010, 2010, a whole eight years ago. And this was done through the, the MIT review, technology review. And they were showing how just the introduction of mobile payments to those who lack bank accounts and it's basically explaining how this is it's it's transforming the ability of folks that are in areas or have small bodegas to be able to sell and transfer funds not have to worry about getting robbed because they're carrying cash around uh, being able to make payments so they don't have to walk extra distances and so they recover that amount of time back to their lives where it could be productive valuable and producing more and this was obviously before you know 2010 it was before cryptocurrencies were even being discussed because only a select few people were involved or, or dealing with this in 2010 it did not make the news whatsoever I assure you this was just some small project uh, Bitcoin uh, being put together and played with at that time and this is showing how the phone itself with digital payments uh, that they were trying to put in place using fiat dollars and how it would help them out and in the past you know the lady who owns this bodega in the past she would spend half her day traveling just to pay bills in cash but since you know June, she was testing out a mobile banking service. You know they called it Money, and uh, you know allowed her to, to to zap the information. You know, buy what she needed to do to bring it to her shop, reduce the risk of getting robbed, and run her business more efficiently. And you know back then she was saying this works out really well. All right, she wished that it had the ability to have some credit. Because if she was short some money and she had to pay the delivery guy, she wished that it would do an instant loan, you know, and that may be something that can happen. But you think about what's going on here, and now you add electronium as a payment system to the phones, where it's now even cheaper, faster, and anybody can pay to anybody without having to have these third parties involved. Real big thing. Now. Worldwide companies, they're trying to put these together, introducing mobile wallets and store of money. This is in 2010. This is when they were trying to work with fiats. But a lot of these countries, their fiat money has gone crazy. They could, they could sell something for a, you know, a, a $10 or let's say a dollar. And by the end of the day, it, you know, it, it's that same item is worth now $5 because the inflation has gone crazy. And there's a few countries that that's having that type of problem. Okay. Here they're talking about how mobile wallets can be transformational. And the president of the company is talking about that. You have the chance to bring hundreds of millions of dollars into the banking system. They already know, and these things have already happened using fiat because crypto wasn't around when this article was written. Okay? Now, thanks to the uh, rapid expansion of cell phone use in poor regions of the, of the year of the world, uh, more than two billion more mobile accounts have been put into place into these poorer nations. Now, just think where they are now, eight years later. This is the reason why Electronium is far ahead of getting these things done and having a plan. And as Richard said on his videos, he has signed contracts with carriers. I don't know who they are, but what I can tell you is, is that he said on his video that he has signed contracts and that they're just waiting to get the KYC together so keep that in the back of your head that the value and uses of electronium is going to be far greater than what's even being expressed here that was eight years ago okay poor regions without clean water electricity uh, mostly adults are now connected 
They can get into different types of products and they can deliver real economic and social value to the poor. Okay? Now, they're talking about here that it can change people's lives because if they're far from a doctor, a patient can pay with phone credits. Oh, phone credits. There was no crypto back then. Phone credits. Electronium, right? Okay, electronium. All right. Uh, a fisherman, he could bring fish, bring it right to the market. The guy could pay for the fish, transfer the electronium right to them. Boom, it's paid for. They move on. Think about these things that are going to happen. I'm trying to get you to see the big picture of how it actually touches people and what has already been documented just by the fact of having a cell phone in front of them using fiat. Add crypto, electronium to the mix because electronium has it ready to go for these people. And now you got a system that's really going to function and, and blow out and go far. All right. Now, let's take a look here. All right. That's a, they're looking at Ecuador. Ecuador, 75% of the people have a cell phone, but only 35% have a bank account. They have the phone, but they have no way to move. They, have no, they don't have money in it. They don't have a bank account that they can click. They don't open up uh, you know, Bank of America or whatever and transfer money. They, they don't have the bank account. But if they have the phone, they can download the Electronium app and now they have a bank. Now they have the ability to have money put in there. The fisherman just loads the Electronium, signs up for it, goes gets his fish, he takes it down, and he says, yes, I want a couple of thousand Electronium uh, per pound or whatever it is. The person transfers it and now he's got the money. He didn't need a bank. It solves this problem. I need you guys to think out far, farther than the next two weeks. The next month or so with the crypto being in a bad place look at what i'm trying to bring to you and how it's actually going to solve these problems how it how these people they they have the tools and this is 10 years ago they have the tools they just don't have the bank account and electronium becomes their own bank i hope you're seeing what i'm bringing to you i hope you see i hope you smell what i'm stepping in <laughs> All right, now, uh, you know, they're charging 49 cents per cash transfer using the fiat. That goes, that's, that's not going to be an issue, right? They're going to save that. And 49 cents is a lot of money to these folks. All right, now, the International Finance Corporation, the arm of the World Bank, invested $3 million in a company called Yellow Pepper to try to make these things happen. All right, these types of additional funds aren't going to be needed. Electronium is going to be able to do it all together. All right, and there are four billion micro consumers. Four billion, and they live on less than twenty dollars a day. Four billion. Okay. Recently, they weren't even viewed as real consumers because they didn't have bank accounts and all that. The GMSA, GSMA, you, know, you guys remember that. Electronium went to the GSMA. What did they do at the GMS, uh, GSMA? They were interacting with phone carriers. Do you see what they were doing months ago? How the vision of where they needed to take Electronium was being laid out months ago. And you can see it now how it comes together. All right, there are now 79 mobile systems globally, mostly in Africa and Asia. Two thirds of them have been launched since 2009. So there's a whole bunch of money systems they're trying to use fiat and they're charging these people lots and lots. If they now have their own bank, because they still have to have a bank account to move the money around and so that leaves people out. But now if they can have their own bank and they can move money around for little to nothing, you tell me what's going to happen. All right. They talk about M-Pesa and all this other stuff. Um, now, three years later, you know, they got 13.5 million customers uh, who send uh, 
money back and forth, this, this M-Pesa company, all right? Vodafone launched it in Kenya in 2007, all right? Now, we proved at Vodafone that if you can get this right, the scale up is massive since Nick Hughes. This is in 2010. They've been waiting, waiting to find a way to get the transfer of money right. All of these, all these providers, Vodafone is just another example, but they're in Africa. They've all been waiting to find a way to have to transfer to get it right. Electronium is the right, is the puzzle piece that was missing all this time. The puzzle piece that's been missing. Cryptocurrency and Electronium, who actually wants to make it happen, that has the patent that was at the GSMA and that Richard said that he's working with carriers. You tell me what's gonna happen 12 months from now, 24 months from now. Electronium is not I'm gonna have a Lambo in, in next month. Electronium is an investment that you put in and as these things come live, the benefit to the people that help bring it to fruition is gonna be great, says the man, the crazy guy in the straw hat. Hope you're with me. Hope you're understanding what I'm, I hope you smell what I'm stepping in here. All right. Now, if we, uh, you can keep going. I'm going to throw the link of this on the chat here. I'm going to also throw it into, uh, uh, I'll throw it into the comments below so you guys can take a look at this 10 year, uh, eight year old article. So you get an idea of what's, uh, what I'm talking about. All right. Now, the mobile operators obviously have to be able to reach a lot of the folks out there. And in the last eight years, a lot of them have done that. Now, we have a technology that's based on mobile, low cost, and lets you think about something for mass population. But it starts with something as simple as sending money or calling a doctor. These are the things that they know will, will carry it. Thing, in the 10 years ago, they were talking about this will work, but we have to start with something as simple as just being able to send money and allow them to be able to contact a doctor or pay for a doctor. This is why there's gonna be mass adoption of Electronium. So Electronium is making a product. They're using the blockchain to create a product a currency that people can can transfer move easily put on become their own bank be able to save time and and money you tell me the millions of people that are going to end up using this especially in some of the undeveloped areas where it, it, it takes time to to travel to village to village to get what you need if you can bring that back to their lives they become more productive and able to do more things Take a look at the article, 10 years, uh, 2010. You'll start to see what I'm talking about. And why Electronium is gonna make a difference. And in 24 months, it's gonna be a powerhouse. My personal opinion, you do it, the information as you wish. Let's take a quick look. RJ saying, Dino, I agree. I think you're on to something there. And I think that, uh, I think I am. I think I am. I found this article uh, a while back. I've been sitting on this for about three weeks. I uh, thought this was a really good article that has a historical reference, being that it's eight years old and crypto didn't exist when this thing was written. So when you read it, look at it from the perspective of now adding crypto to what they're writing here and how that's gonna solve a lot of things going forward. Okay. Uh, Duncan says, uh, he definitely uh, smells what I'm stepping in because uh, it's a, 
a wallaby because uh, <laughs> he had he has a wallaby out there and he's familiar with it <laughs> appreciate that duncan i'm glad you see the forethought of what i'm bringing there yes the huge velocity of etn is coming yes it is coming is it's not coming by november or october starting next year we're going to start to see things happen Richard said in his videos, next year you're going to see things happen. I, for one, believe the guy. I, for one, and I read these things, I read the stuff that Chris Gorman writes. I, for one, believe, truly, Electronium is going to be the tip of the spear. Everybody else talks about making crypto. You look at all these other coins. Oh, we got to do mass adoption, Bitcoin, this, everything. I, because I need to buy my latte at Starbucks. Well, you know what? It's going to be a long time before that happens. Because I can just yank out my Visa card and slide it through the machine. And I get paid to the customer, to the, to the latte people at Starbucks. And it's done. And it's going to be a while before they come up with anything whatsoever that's going to solve that problem for first world countries because we already have existing payment systems in place it will happen but you will get mass adoption in places that have nothing or little and you bring them a a, a magical solution they're gonna jump on this because they don't have any anything they're not carrying a visa card in their pocket they carry a phone what does Richard say? They had more phones than shoes. All right. There's a lot of people that are going to be able to use this and mass adopt it. And then that will then carry it forward into other countries. Five years from now to seven years from now, you're talking massive. All right. Let's take a look here. Um... All right. Eagle Eagle. Electronium, hopefully the hopefully rise rising the price soon. All right. So he, this guy wants uh, Eagle Eagle wants the price of Electronium to rise. Electronium is not going to rise until Bitcoin does. So put that away. You need to understand what you what you're investing in. Okay? Electronium is an awesome coin. It will rise. Soon is not the right answer. You're not going to see amazing results till next year. Okay? And the price of Electronium will rise with the tide of Bitcoin. Or it will go down with the Bitcoin. Just like every other coin. Okay? Obviously some success stories will give us a little plateau bump as we go along. But it's going to change when Bitcoin changes. And if you're looking for soon being next week, don't hold your breath. Not, not, nothing's going up in, in next week. All right. Now, when they announce these ETFs, and if the ETF goes through, there's going to be so much hype that everything is just going to go berserk. It's going to start with Bitcoin because the ETFs are only the purchasing of Bitcoin, and then money will trickle down into the altcoins over a period of time they'll lag behind bitcoin bitcoin is going to surge before that's the reason why everybody's putting the money selling their altcoins and putting the bitcoin because they want to get that initial surge all right uh, 12th player says yes businesses will start accepting electronium and everything will change i agree 100 percent 12th player you're right on target i'm and i'm trying to make sure you see how we're going to get there why that's going to happen. It's not that we're going to be going down to 7-Eleven and buying a bottle of water next next year. But 100 million people in other parts of the world will start using it pretty much right away. All right. <clears throat> Let's take care. Double uh, X saying, do you think the West is going to hold most of the Electronium by the time the intended audience realize they can also have some? Well, good thing with Electronium, there's, there's 21 billion coins. So there's plenty of coins to go around. There's plenty still to be mined. 
and there's plenty uh, available for them to earn with the airdrop, the, mo the simulated uh, mobile miner airdrop. So they have the ability to earn some, learn how it works, transfer it around, maybe pay their phone bill with it to help offset some costs initially. But once they're using it, they're going to be like, think about it, I, I got my phone bill, it's $10, I earned, you know, a dollar or two of electronium. I pay, I pay it off, and I'm only have to pay eight dollars. Well, I'm gonna go fishing, and I bring in some fish, and I tell the guy at the bodega, yeah, I'm, I'll sell you the fish, but I want a couple of hundred electronium because I can pay off my phone bill. Electronium guys are way ahead. You guys really need to see how they're putting in place areas that are gonna be able to. Uh, move the money and make it useful immediately and as soon as they start to get it they'll be able to instantly be able to start to use it and going I got a benefit from this I want more of these things and even if the West is holding some of the coins that's only gonna raise the value of it it's gonna help these guys because that if a couple of them were smart enough to hold on to some of them they're gonna find out that they can afford a phone and a pair of shoes now because it doubled in price or tripled in price for them think about it all right let's get over to uh the next thing the next thing i want to talk about eagle eagle unfortunately i can't speak is no that spaniel i have to i have to put this in spanish i don't know if any of you guys know what eagle's saying there um, the Pulse is saying, holding electronium coin long term is a sweet art with good results. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, the last thing I wanted to, to talk about on here, before we get to the, good, to the end of the show, this guy. You guys know who this guy is, right? Warren Buffett. Now, this guy is going around and he's talking about how cryptocurrencies are basically a scam they have no intrinsic value and I'm getting really close to explain on another we'll do another day why cryptos will never go away and why they're so important at this time in history but he's saying unlike stocks or bonds real estate Bitcoin is not an investment because it lacks intrinsic value so you don't have to have, you don't have anything it's not producing anything all right stuff like this gets me crazy because here you have a technology and I'm gonna explain in further videos of why this technology is so critical and crucial and how it's going to change certain aspects of life period now it, ha it lacks any intrinsic value so that really bugs me and I'm thinking to myself well what makes a painting worth $8,000, $100,000, $150,000? He's telling me, crypto, you're just hoping the next guy pays more. And that you'll find that guy and someone's going to pay more. That's the only purpose of crypto. Well, you know, I can grab $20 worth of canvas. I can, put, I can get some, some acrylic paint. A, a monkey to paint and let him splash some color on that thing and I can turn that into this now this looks like a monkey did it now I'm not criticizing the artist I appreciate art it better be better than something I can do or it's not art to me that's my personal opinion. I, 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 it's got to be something I can't do because then I can appreciate it. That's how I look at it. I look at this. It looks like, a, looks like somebody cut a circle out of a, out of a drop cloth. And this person wants $4,400 for this 
paint on a drop cloth. There is absolutely no intrinsic value to this. And they put paintings out. What makes a Mona Lisa worth $50 million, $150 million, and then the next poor sucker pays $200 million for it? It's just some paint on a piece of canvas. There's no intrinsic value. It looks nice. Well, crypto does stuff. It transfers money around the world. There's programmable. It has a function. It at least performs a service. It actually does do stuff. It performs a service. This paint on a piece of canvas has zero value. And all you're thinking about is the next poor sucker you're going to sell it to for more. So as far as I'm concerned, there's no difference. But yet these people will stand up, well, it's art. It's No, it's a bunch of paint on a piece of canvas that somebody cut out into a circle. It's not worth $4,000. $25 plus labor. $100 an hour, it took you, what, 15 minutes? So add 20, 20 bucks to that, I'll give you 45 bucks for the raw materials and the, and the labor. And that's generous. $4,000. Stuff like this makes me crazy. And this is the reason why people like this knucklehead, who's a billionaire because he knew how to invest in brick and mortar stuff, can't see the future. Has no understanding of what the technology is actually doing. What it's actually transforming. And I'm going to save that for another video because it's going to take a whole video just to talk about that. And I can bring that to you because I have 30 years of experience where starting from actual Z80 processors and building my own machines and, and, and circuitry and the things that have to be done to do that, I'll be able to bring a unique perspective to you of why cryptos are well beyond this guy's capacity to understand. And there is a value to cryptocurrencies and what's going on right now. What that value is has to be determined. Uh, uh, is, are these companies worth two billion dollars? Or are, they, uh, are these, like, these coins worth two billion dollars or are they not? Are they, you know, just worth a few, a few tens of millions or whatever it is. That the market will determine based on the performance and the functionality and the service that the coin brings. Hence why Electronium will be a service coin. It'll be sought after, valued, and wanted. Alright, so you think about what I'm saying there. As far as I'm concerned... The real scam artists are the guys that are buying these paintings and then getting a sucker to pay them another $50 million for it. And Sotheby's getting extra money for it. That's my personal opinion. Take it for what it's worth. I'm just a crazy guy in a hat with tinfoil on the inside. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Exactly. H-Bomb saying, you know, he's hoping the next guy will pay more. Pretty much the summary of a buy and hold method. He buys cheap and later somebody else pays more for it. Now, with stocks, the reason why somebody would pay more for it, obviously there's hype. But if the company has grown and performed and is bringing a dividend or um, has, a, has sums of money in their bank, their value of the company is worth more, the stock itself will reflect the value, the assets of that company. So there's something tangible there uh, to reflect to it. So stocks are a little bit different, but there is a value in cryptocurrencies and folks that are used to seeing tangible assets uh, are not able to understand the service that's being performed and the value of service that's being generated by 
uh, blockchain technology and cryptocurrency technology. This one guy here, um, and I'm looking at some of these paintings. I mean, seven thousand dollars, you know, and then you you try to maybe the guy dies and you can sell for more. Uh, you know, splotches. I'm I for one. This one here, ten thousand, what, uh, three thousand dollars? Some pink and blue on it. it. It really bothers me. Sometimes some of these, uh, some of these, some of these paintings. I, I, I don't even want to talk about this no more. It upsets me. All right. Nicole Buffett is his granddaughter. She paints and sells. She makes forty grand a year selling her paintings. Obviously, somebody there finds it of value. Anyway, with the interview for Warren Buffett, he recommended these things for coins. He said, now these are hard coins, physical coins, but specialized. And you can use this also for cryptos. These are pretty good basics. Specialize and define your circle of competence and collect inside of it. You know, people like certain types of coins because they do a particular function. I like infrastructure coins, and I'm going to tell you about that why in the videos as we go along in the future and over the next few days. I like um, coins that are going to make changes and uh, mass adopt where I think there's going to be mass adoption. That's why I like Electronium. I like Web Dollar, and I kind of focus on coins that do certain things. Buy the very best coin you can. It's better to buy a great coin at a fair price than a fair coin at a great price. So, in other words, you don't want to buy a, 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 a crypto that's got a shaky project. You don't see any feedback from the developers. You know, it's, you know, yeah, I can get a good price on it, but I have no idea what's going on with it. I have no idea if it's going to turn into anything. You're better off paying a fair price for something that you're getting feedback and you see things happening and you have a person like uh, Richard Ells so uh, you know running it so you know it's sometimes it's better to pay a fair price for it to get something that you know is good okay buy for the long term with the idea of holding it forever if you have to sell it, you have to sell it but you buy it with the idea of holding it forever because uh, Theoretically, obviously you, you want to be able to see an increase in the purchase, in, the, in its value, a benefit from it for being the first to hold it and propping up everything. Hopefully there'll be a benefit back to you. But if it turns into actual currency that everybody's using, you will never need to sell it. You'll be able to spend it. You know, won't need to turn it back into fiat. I'm buying Electronium and I'll never ever want to cash it out. Ever. Because hopefully it'll go up and then at some point it'll be money that I'll use. I'll have no need to turn it back into fiat. I'll buy a pair of sneakers with it that's worth whatever, 50 bucks at the time. Or I'll go to Walmart and I'll get myself a $20 pair of sneakers. And then I'll pay tax of converting it back to fiat at that time. And so my $20 plus uh, whatever tax rate it is at that point. And I'll, and I'll deal with it then. I ain't ever turning this stuff back into fiat. There's not going to be a need. So don't worry about what the price is today tomorrow. You got to believe in what you purchased. It's, don't worry about it going from five, five cents. I bought it at six cents. I bought it at ten cents. I bought it at three cents, and I've been buying at a penny. And at no point am I worried about what the price of it is. All I'm worried about is, is how many I can hold on to to make the project work well, because I have no intention to ever turn it back into money, into fiat. Because if, if, if I chose the right project I won't need to it won't be a requirement patience is critical wait for the perfect pitch right down the middle of the plate patience is perfect and it's critical wait for the right price wait for the right stuff so no matter what coins you're looking at or what investments you're making 
wait for that right time to come along. Could this be the right time? We'll see. I think that we're really close as you're going to get to being the right time. So any, I'll be honest with you, most people are holding their Bitcoin. I've, I've traded all of my Bitcoin that I found laying around under the cushions in my sock um, and uh, buying these old coins. Ones that I think are good projects. All right. When an opportunity presents itself, act quickly and seize the day. Carpe diem. Seize the moment. And then obviously work with company, work with coins that you trust. All right. These are things that he, when he collects coins and ideas uh, that uh, he recommends for physical coins. But they transfer into digital coins too, as far as I'm concerned. These are all great great ideas all right let's take a quick look I've rambled a lot I know the show went long but I had two really big topics that I felt that I wanted to get out to you in one big show I hope you thought it was worth the time and effort let's take a quick look here um, double X is saying he likes that quote and buy it and hold it forever uh, <laughs> that's that's exactly how I look at it. I don't put the money that I, I need to live today, and if I have a few scribbits left or all left over, I'm putting it into crypto and it's gone. Because I, if if everything works out the way it's supposed to, the way I think it is, I will never need to move it back into into fiat. All right. <laughs> Paul saying, by the look at that art, everything, even a kindergartner should be wealthy. I um. Being that I, uh, that I spend the day making artistic items, we manufacture giant, I, like, I, I'll put it this way, I built the world's largest Starship Enterprise for CBS, okay? It was a 35-foot Starship Enterprise for CBS to use in a trade show. It's a giant model. Had a lot of fun. It was the greatest thing since sliced bread. And, and, and I feel I'm lucky to get paid to do that. But this is something really special. I feel that, that there's a lot of effort and talent, steel work, plastic coating, the, the painting, decal work. There's a lot that goes into it. Um, and so when I look at a piece of art, and to me it looks like a monkey or a dog walked across a piece of canvas, I feel insulted when I see prices of $4,000. I don't care who you are. And if somebody's buying it because they think it's going to be worth more in the future, then they're basically looking for the next sucker that's going to per pay more for that $20 worth of paint and canvas. I get so upset. You can see that really like razzles me. It gives me a rash on my behind. All right. Yes. Uh, so uh, Eagle Eagle saying we need translated electronium videos in Spanish. So, Eagle, we put, uh, it, it takes a couple of hours, but I do put closed caption on all of my videos that translates to English, Spanish, uh, English, Spanish, Romanian, uh, Russian, Chinese, Korean, uh, uh, Hindi, and a few others. So, if you click on the closed caption uh, on my previous videos, I do my best uh, to get that translated some of the wording may not translate well and it's an automated translation so Google may or may not be very good at it but it'll get you close enough to kinda get an understanding of what what the words coming out of my mouth <laughs> okay I'm gonna say that alright so we got a lot of good stuff here let's get to the uh... <laughs> Duncan goes, hold on to your blood pressure. We need you around, you know. Yeah, no. <laughs> I just get a rash, you know. <laughs> let's get to, let's see if I know who won today. Let's, uh, let's go to, uh, uh, what do I got to do here? Pick a winner. That's CO. Let's bring that puppy up. I got to, I got to find my YouTube video real quick here. Let's, let's do that together. YouTube, let's bring it up. 
let's go to my channel and we're gonna find the last show so that was two days ago that was Monday so let's pop into there let's get the share and we'll copy that oh. Oh my gosh, we got music coming out of our yin yang here. Let's stop that one so we don't get all that music. Let's go back here. We'll paste it. All right, so we have it in there. Let's find out who's going to win 74 cryptocurrencies tonight. Electronium or web dollar of your choice. Let's fetch. We have a total of 14 comments that qualify. And let's pick a winner. Hopefully, it's one of you guys are here. Yeah, I might be able to find that. After we close out, I'll see if I can find that. Uh, I, I have it on my phone here, the picture of the Enterprise. If you guys, after we pick a winner, I'll pull it up and I'll show it to you on the camera so that you can see uh, the Starship Enterprise that uh, I put together. All right, let's pick a winner. Jason H. wins again. That's a twice for Jason. So, um, Minor 49 is a hoot. And he has won himself 74 coins of Electronium ETN. I will get those out to you, Jason H, right after the show. And I appreciate uh, you guys uh, watching the show. So those of you that are bored, you can take off. If you want to hang on a second here, I'll bring up a camera. What I want is my favorites. I'll show you a couple quick things here. We built, uh, I got, uh, we did a shuttle, oh, let's bring over camera two. We did a shuttle craft. Uh, it was about a 10 foot shuttle craft. You can see that there. The USS Columbia. We even got all of the, uh, the, the uh, jet ports and nozzles out of there. And let's take a look here. You guys want to see. Yeah, I got a giant set of teeth. Those are about eight feet tall. Let's see what else we did here. Where's my Starship Enterprise? Oh, you see here, this one's kind of cool. I'll show you this. I'm in the Book of World Records for the largest bobblehead. World's largest bobblehead, 15 feet, four inches and three quarters. And it actually bobbles. I had to use a two-ton truck spring for that. And got a lot of good stuff here. It's right here. You don't want to see it. Oh, right. Here we go. So this was the uh, Starship Enterprise. It was in dry dock, space dock in my warehouse here, my manufacturing facility. This was a uh, can't do. <laughs> hey, I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's uh, take a look here, see if I missed anything. All right, we got the Pulse, and uh, we want to thank you, the Pulse. We appreciate you uh, coming on the show every day and giving everybody congratulations. And congratulations to Jeff, uh, to Jason. So um, thank you, everybody. I'm going to call it a night. I appreciate each and every one of you guys, and we'll see you again throughout the week. Ciao.